Hi, I'm John the Engineer, Taj Professor, Great Canadian Gambler, Termel. And I was about to run for Parliament to legalize gambling. And I had booked a game on April Fool's at Prince of Wales Party Room. And another game a week later at the Nepean Sportsplex to raise funds. I was taking advantage of the Rockert decision, which the Supreme Court of Canada had just handed down, saying that if you moved around, you couldn't be charged with being a game in house. And despite all this, the Ottawa police were threatening to bust me anyway. So here comes the April Fool's uh, game that night and the raid that took place and what happened. So I wrote this poem while sitting in jail. I call it The Gambler's Lament. Here I sit broken-hearted, came to play, but was soon parted. From my friends that I do know, enjoy the game as I do so. Now I languish here in jail, puzzled by my need of bail. I don't know why they oppose my wish to gamble. No one knows. I don't hurt them. Why bust me? It isn't their game. Now I see they allow bingos or tickets bought, but never, never a game of thought. Bingos bore me, lotteries too. I want poker, blackjack, backgammon, phew. I prefer thought, exercise my brain. Playing lotteries would drive me insane. So I choose to make use of my mind and pity those who won't in kind. So I'm in here. And they're out there, and still I choose to think, to dare. So they busted me, and I spent the night in jail, and uh, luck fails gambler candidate, because I'd announced I was going to run for parliament. Uh, and this was out of the uh, journal, and said, in Ottawa, uh, police raid Sunday night has temporarily halted a 28-year-old Nepean man's traveling gambling casino. John Turmel, who later today plans to file his papers as a candidate in the upcoming federal election in Ottawa West, was remanded without plea this morning on a charge of keeping in a place under his control devices for gambling. Note that. New charge, not gaming house. The charges came as a result of a raid about 10 p.m. Sunday night on the Prince of Wales Drive address where Turmel was operating a casino. When the police arrived, Turmel says there were four blackjack tables in operation, about 25 guests, and about eight or $900 in play. Police say there were 17000 in poker chips confiscated. About 37 persons were taken into custody as found-ins, but police later released them after taking their names and addresses. Termel says he plans not only to fight the charge, which he claims is archaic and seldom used, but he intends to have another casino next week. Remember, the Supreme Court of Canada had just ruled that Harvey Rockert can't be charged with running a gaming house if he moves around on a one-night stand. And the Ottawa police said they didn't care what they said. They're going to bust me for operating a one-night stand. But they couldn't charge me with operating a gaming house, so they charged me with possession of the deck of cards. Possession of the gambling device. Which I guess is still on the books, even though no one ever uses it. And no one has ever charged with possession of a deck of cards. I was probably the last time in Canadian history. He says his next venture is planned for next Sunday at the Nepean Sportsplex. And he's already informed Nepean police of the event. Next article, uh, Gambler to Reopen Games After City Police Charges. Gambler John Turmel, arrested at one of his bi-monthly blackjack games Sunday night, said today he will hold another game Sunday at the Nepean Sportsplex. He appeared in provincial court today and was remanded to April 9th for plea. Five of his employees were also arrested and remanded to the same date. Turmel's operated numerous floating blackjack casino nights since September in Ottawa after the Supreme Court of Canada ruled that premises must be used more than once before they can be considered a gaming house under the criminal code. Ah, but these cops are smarter than the judges, you know. I mean, possession of a deck of cards must still be illegal if we can't get him in any other way. Turmel said his next game would be in the Nepean this week and that he would not be having any more in Ottawa until this case has been settled. I've spoken to police departments all around Ottawa and they agree as long as we keep moving, it's okay. Nepean Police Chief Gus Wersch said his force was aware of Turmel's activities and monitors games when they're held in, in municipality. We are taking a close look at each operation and as long as the loopholes are there in the law, we won't do anything. There's no use in going into an exercise in futility or an exercise to inconvenience someone without the laws behind you. Yeah, but they got the laws against possession of a deck of cards behind them. 
Termel said after his arrest Sunday that he had openly invited Ottawa police to come to his game, but he never expected to be arrested. He claims his arrest is unjustified. The charge of having control of gambling devices would make a gin or a bridge player guilty because he's using a deck of cards. Termel said he plans to make his case an issue in the coming federal election. So, next article. I get a telephone call the next day from Don Golden said that the Nepean Sportsplex were canceling my booking for my casino in their <laughs> municipal sportsplex. Article from the uh, 7th of April. Casino shuffled out of Nepean. So, John Termell, Ottawa's engineer turned gambling casino, won't be allowed to operate a casino out of the Nepean Sportsplex. Nepean Mayor Ben Franklin said City of the City won't allow the 28 year old Termell to hold a casino night because it involves hard gambling. Termell had been allowed to book and pay for a room in the Sportsplex several weeks ago, Franklin said, because the city officials believe the affair was a charitable event using only funny money. However, after Termell's game was raided by Ottawa police Sunday night, Nepean realized the planned event involved cash and cancelled the booking. Quote, the Sportsplex does hold casino nights for charitable causes, Franklin said, but there's no hard gambling, only funny money is used. Termel was arrested and charged Sunday with having control of gambling devices. After appearing in provincial court, he was remanded. Termel's had operated numerous floating games, blah blah blah. Then, next article, card ballot. He's on the gambler's vote little article with picture. I brought a blackjack table and all sorts of gambling paraphernalia I could pick up at the, at the stores to show that anybody could get illegal gambling devices and possess them. He's gambling on the gambler's vote. And from the 10th of April, John Termell, Ottawa's floating blackjack entrepreneur, has been ordered to stand trial later this year for his gambling escapades. Termell, who's running as an independent in Ottawa West on a legalized gambling platform, was back at police headquarters this morning after a brief court appearance, this time to kick off his campaign for gambling rights. And he brought with him an armful of gambling devices he bought at local department stores. Termell, who claims he's the only gambler, quote, legally incorporated in Canada, was arrested along with five employees and 37 other persons two weeks ago following a police morality raid at a Prince of Wales high-rise. Tremel runs his casino nights on an invitation-only basis and sets no cover charge or rake to play. Sunday, he planned a casino night at the Nepean Sportsplex, but city officials got wind of it beforehand and cancelled his permit. Nepean Police Chief Gus Wurst says as long as Tremel's activities are legal, his force will not be bothering him. And actually, I moved into Nepean after that. And every time I wanted to test the law, I'd go out into Ottawa or Gloucester or Cole across the river in Quebec and challenge the law. And every time I got busted, I went back home into Nepean to run the games out of my basement. So it was nice to have somewhere where the cops weren't going to just inconvenience me with possession of a deck of cards. Termel is basing his case on a Supreme Court ruling last fall. As long as you don't hold a game in any one spot, you can't be charged with keeping a common gaming house. But the police broke up his game and charged him with having possession of gambling devices. And the only gambling device is the cards in blackjack. So they charged him under Section 186, a section which Termel claims has only been invoked once before and against a gambler who was caught with 10 packs of marked cards. I didn't know. He bought his bought his gambling paraphernalia to the police department and told newsmen just how accessible the devices are to the general public. So, number three, finally, I went to City Hall at Nepean Sportsplex to ask for the right to run my game there because I wasn't breaking any laws, even if it was with hard cash. So, gambler betting on private hall, Dewart Snow, journal reporter, and it says... Roving blackjack entrepreneur John Termel, whose attempt to hold one of his floating casinos in the Peen Sportsplex was refused by City Council Tuesday night, since he's now looking for a privately owned hall. The 28-year-old advocate of government regulated gambling has hoped to hold the game, to hold to raise funds for his campaign as an independent candidate in the federal election in the Sportsplex last Sunday evening. But Mayor Ben Franklin and city officials canceled his booking and returned his check last week when they learned one of his games had been raided by Ottawa police. They say city police... Uh, uh, was to allow casinos in the sportsplex only if they use play money. Uh, that was policy. And despite Termel's plea Tuesday that his game is clean, legitimate, and decent, be permitted, council stood by that decision. Although Alderman Al Loney and Al Brown agreed with Termel's arguments in favor of government regulated gambling, they insisted the decision was up to the federal and provincial governments, not municipalities. Other aldermen said they believed gambling with cash didn't belong in public facilities like the sportsplex. Termel operated. It was going to be a private game, private rental of the hall. 
Termell operates his games under a Supreme Court of Canada ruling that a person cannot be convicted of keeping a common gaming house as long as the game is held only once in a single location. As a result of the April 1st raid, Ottawa police charged him with control of devices for gambling and he faces the charge. But Franklin told Council Tuesday that Nepean Police Chief Gus Wirsch has said police would not lay such a charge and councillors said Termell was welcome to rent any private hall in the city. And I did. On April the 3rd, I went and registered officially, got my 100 signatures, and signed up for my first election. And then I thought about my policy, and in the next post I'll explain the policy that I came up with. But on April the 13th, finally, I'm writing an article, some thoughts on economics and politics, and that's when I first said the question, how does the economy change with a zero interest rate? Next.